Week and time once again on me and today I'm doing a quick little recap eh, of Funko Fair Day 9 eh, which today was DC slash music which I'm not going to show you guys any of the music announcements eh. I'm just going to go straight over just with DC announcements eh, because that's my bread and butter right there eh. so uh, yeah man uh, let's jump into these announcements eh. so first let's talk about these Wonder Woman pops eh. but before I get started eh, I was kind of worried eh, when they're going to be announcing more Wonder Woman pops I was like really wait we just freaking got those 1984 film pops eh, which by the way that film was super trash eh, but let's not get into the freaking film way because se me va subir la azúcar, way. but uh yeah man but after i looked at the images or whatever i was like man you know what i spoke to soon way these pops are super dope eh? and i like the fact that they're showing love to wonder woman eh? they're freaking um showing her with different outfits she has worn over the years or whatever eh? but uh yeah man let's jump into these um Wonder Woman pops, eh? And take a little closer look, homie, one by one. So the first pop, homie, you're going to be able to get is this Golden Age um, Wonder Woman, homie, from the 1950s way, which, oh, you can't go wrong with a classic, classic Wonder Woman, homie. Look at that beauty way. She has her little shield, her little sword, homie. That's right, homie. Red, white, and blue, homie. America, baby. And, uh, yeah, man, I, I'm, I'm most definitely going to end up copying this pop, eh? It looks super, super dope, eh? This one, you're going to be able to get Ultramar Secret Agent way, where she's just rocking, um, a white little like skirt outfit or whatever which uh this one looks all right man this one I, I, i'm gonna skip a eh, because i'm not this one looks like whatever's a eh? but i like the fact that she has a little sword right there on me yeah she's looking sexy but dangerous at the same time wait that's right on me and then uh moving on eh, you're gonna be able to get um this uh, contest uh, Wonder Woman, homie, which this one I'm copying most definitely. Eh? She's ready to throw putazos, homie. Look at that. She has her hands up. That's right, homie. She looks like a biker chick, way. Which uh, she looks dope, eh? I'm copying this one for sure. And then uh, moving on, you're going to be able to get uh, the challenge of the gods pop on me which oh, which this one looks super sick on me sparta on me has a little sparta vibe to it eh which this one i'm copying most definitely i wish they could have made this one like metallic way or like her helmet or something well depending i don't know probably she, the helmet will have like the little glossy look to the pop or whatever it won't have like that little matte finish or whatever but yeah man this one is a must copy i'm copying this one and then oh ha, my favorite 1a from the whole freaking set has to be this wonder woman from a death metal way which oh shout out to snap Snyder and Kapuro, homie. This is actually gonna be a PX exclusive, by the way. But yeah, man, uh, Snyder and Kapuro, way, you fools did a great job on me with that death metal runway. I loved it from beginning to end, eh? The ending was perfect, eh? And to tell you the truth, eh? This has to be my favorite uh, Wonder Woman outfit today, way. This one beats the classic one, eh? I know some people might like the classic one, but this one, I just love it more, eh? She's freaking holding the freaking chainsaw of truth, way. That's right, homie. And uh, by the way, there's gonna be a chase, way. Obviously, you can see in the image right there. Him, which the chase looks kind of lazy way but to me i love it way because what else do you want glowing on wonder woman way she's not the freaking phoenix way where her whole body glows way i'm perfectly fine that the chainsaw truth is the only thing glowing way it looks pretty badass way you if you ask me way i'm probably just being biased way because i'm just a big big dc fan and you know what i don't know man i love it tell you the truth i really really truly truly love it eh? i love that the chainsaw truth and it stands out way because it's the chainsaw truth way i love that i love it i love it eh? so i'm, I'm gonna cop this uh bundle from big apple collectibles eh? they have it up on the website for 50 bucks way which i think is a fair price so i'm just gonna end up copying that one a eh? so uh yeah now moving on to the flash announcements a eh? which all these spots right here are based off the tv show which um i'm super behind on the flash show way i i I got some catching up to do, eh? So, uh, yeah, man, taking a little closer look at each and one of these pops, eh? The first one, obviously, you know, you got to do another flash pop, way. Eh? If you're going to do a new flash wave, you got to do another Perry Allen, way. Eh? Which this uh, flash pop looks nice and simple, way. Eh? Every time I see a flash pop, way, eh, I feel like you've seen one flash, you've seen them all, way. Eh? Which, uh, this one has, like, a little bit of lining around his ankle, around his forearm, which uh, I'm going to skip on that one. You know why? Because I'm going to try to shoot for the freaking Funko Shop exclusive one way. Which, there you go, Funko again, way. With your little manias, way. You're making a freaking common one and the glow one way. And both of them look exactly the same way. Unless the Funko Shop exclusive, they added that little uh, lightning behind it like his legs or whatever. But, yeah, man, I'm going to skip on the common one. And I'm going to go shoot for the glow in the dark one. Hopefully, I'm able to get it, eh? And uh, moving on, you're going to be able to get a... Uh, a killer frost pop hey which i know the con exclusive one shot up in price way which i don't know if it's still up there in price or not hey but if you missed out on that one you could get one for the low low homie for 10 and 9 way the what depending where you go way if you go to walmart and target hey, yeah, they're 8.99 way you can't be uh target uh pop uh prices way and uh moving on to my favorite flash announcement hey? 
has to be this Godspeed way. I think that's everybody's favorite uh, freaking flash announcement they did way. Which come on, none of these other ones compared to this one way. I just love this Godspeed one way. I love how that was mad dogging way. He has that little blue line around his ankle way, little bit in his hand way, and then of course you know Funko homie that had to do a glow one way. Which I'm not even mad way because that glow one looks super dope way, and I love it that they went with that neon green way. It looks super dope, way. and that was gonna be a GameStop exclusive. Which, uh, when it comes to GameStop exclusives, way, if you don't find it on their website or whatever, on release day or whatever, just go to your local GameStop way, you find them their way. GameStop pops are uh, exclusive ones are never hard to find, eh? But, uh, yeah, man, um, moving on, you're gonna be able to get uh, this uh, Blood Work one, which that one looks pretty wacky. I'm gonna end up skipping this one. Yeah, moving on, they announced these uh, freaking pop pins, eh? Which, uh, I'm not a super big fan of these pins, way. They look. I don't really care much about them, eh? So you're gonna be able to get a Superman one, a Cyborg one, Wonder Woman one, a Flash one, and then obviously the Chase one that's all gold, which all these are based off the freaking Justice League movie way, which, oh, talking about the Justice League movie, they freaking announced it that it's gonna be on HBO Max on March 18th, way. That's right, I can't wait for it, way. I'm um, hope, hopefully, hopefully it's way better than the than the first one, eh? And then uh, the last pop that announced for DC way is this uh, vinyl comic cover on me of Superman Action Comics issue number one way, which oh, the first appearance of Superman way, which I have to cop this pop right here on me. Look at this beauty way, which you see Superman rocking that classic, classic costume way, which I do have an issue with this pop way. I wish they could have changed that fool's freaking pose way. Why are they freaking making that fool with his freaking hands, you know, next to his freaking down by his waist or whatever way whack way they always do that freaking same pose way for superman i wish he could have been like mimicking the freaking same you know pose that freaking superman is doing in the cover way you know holding that car or something way but you know what it's still a dope freaking pop way i'm gonna most definitely cop this one and i'm hoping in the future they do detective comics issue number 27 a eh? but uh yeah man that's pretty much it for uh dc announcements a eh? which you know it wasn't much a eh? but you know what it's okay way i prefer uh Quality over quantity any day of the week, way. Cause look at what happened with freaking Marvel, way. They announced a gang of stuff, way, which most all of that was trash. I mean, nobody cared, way, because half of that stuff they announced, way, it was already in stores, way. I would have been kind of pissed, way, if, if freaking Funko would announce those freaking Imperial uh, Batman pops, way. I'll be like, really, way? Like, that's kind of on the way. But they did it, way, you know? But you know what? I, I, I loved every announcement they did today, way. And, um, yeah, man, I'm looking forward to getting those pops and adding those pops to my collection or whatever, eh? And uh, once again, eh, if you guys are new to the channel, way eh, you guys enjoyed this video on me, don't forget to hit that like, way. Eh? And um, yeah, man, give me your thoughts on these uh, DC announcements, eh? Which pops are you copying? Which ones are you skipping? Did you love the DC day? Or or what are your thoughts, way? Eh? Let me know, way. Eh? And uh, once again, eh, Strick89er out. Play, yeah.